the relationship between Silicon Valley and Washington is a very good question and one that I think was due for some uh, conversation this year regardless of whether Hillary had won or Trump won. And I think that's true because there are some broader economic factors out there. You know, we're a generation today where our children at the age of 30 are, fewer than half of them are likely to be making more than their parents in income, which is a big reversal from the trends in America for many, many years where each set of parents felt like they wanted their kids to have it better than them. And what's happening, there's many reasons for that, but tech does play a role in the sense that a lot of the great innovations here that have added so much to this economy in the Bay Area and to other economies haven't necessarily been shared by all of America. And I think the uh, anxiety around that has been bubbling for some time. So what, regardless of who was, is sitting in the White House, I think it's an issue and I think it's going to be a really important issue how those tensions get resolved in the next year. There are different ways to solve them. I think both Silicon Valley and Washington need each other uh, in many important ways, which we could talk about. And it's really important that Silicon Valley not find itself two years from now in the with the public perception that Wall Street has with Washington. And I think that's a risk if there isn't some olive branches extended in both directions. And so how potentially can Silicon Valley step up to a responsibility to ensure that globalization works for the many and not just the few? Is it about skills that they could provide? Is it how can they ensure they are more inclusive? Well, I think that skills is a, is a really good one. I think uh, ultimately there has to be some uh, transfer of some of the wealth that is created here and displaces workers elsewhere to those families. Now how that transfer happens is not necessarily the uh, responsibility of Silicon Valley, but they can certainly do things like try to find, uh, educate uh, people in certain regions that may be losing jobs in coding and other, there may, there's definitely things that Silicon Valley can do. They also may find themselves in a more regulated position or taxed in certain ways that help transfer some of that wealth. And to me, the core issue that the, the, where it would be done right is if nothing in Washington ends up restricting the free flow of labor and capital that is what's creating this innovation. If tariffs and other forms of, uh, of regulation that try to keep jobs here instead of allowing foreign talented workers to stay here and keep the cost of producing low, I think that would be a bad outcome. If we could keep free capital and labor and innovation going here and then with the benefits of that figure out how to help the people who are displaced from self-driving cars and truck drivers, et cetera, I think that would be important and Silicon Valley needs to step up and look for ways that they can help.